mga ginigiling ko mga pink clowners again this is Bonifacio Yalos Jr. ang inyong pink clown na month feature ninyo on 9 okay um, what we're going to have for this video is an introduction lang po muna okay kailangan po ito para po doon sa next mag na magiging topic po natin actually magiging topic po natin is all about the factoring of polynomials Pero kakailangan niyo po ang tulong nito, lows of exponents. Diyan po medyo nahihirapan talaga ang mga ibang estudyante. Ang next na video na gagawin ko naman po is the addition of integers. Yung mga operations sa integers, addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. Kasi paragi pong may mga nagtatanong sa akin, Sir, positive plus negative. Hindi nila alam is because hindi nila masyadong naintindihan kung papaano po yung addition or multiplication, subtraction, and division of integers. So for now, umpisahan po natin dito sa lows of exponent. Okay? So suppose we do have this one. Ang tawag po dito is lows of exponent. Okay? Pansinin po natin mabuti. A raised to n and A raised to m. Pinag-multiply po silang dalawa. Okay? Ito is just a symbol, number 1 and parenthesis. Okay? Hindi po siya kasama. Okay. Ang ito lang po. A raised to n times A raised to m. Ang magiging sagot po natin dyan is copy the base and add the exponent. Again, I repeat. Copy the base and add the exponent. Okay po ba tayo doon? Tignan niyong mabuti ha. A raised to N times A raised to M. Ang sagot po natin is copy the base and add the exponent. Right after po dyan, kung possible pong may simplify, isimplify po natin. Okay, magbigay tayo ng example. Yung simpleng example lang naman, no? 2 raised to 2 or 2 squared times 2 cube. Okay? 2 squared times 2 cube. Ito po yung format na yan. The same base, different exponent. The same base, magkaiba ang exponent. So, anong gagawin natin? Copy the base, add the exponent, 2 plus 3. Copy the base, 2, add the exponent, 2 plus 3. Ito po yun. Simplify po natin yan, we do have 2 raised to 5. Bakit naging 5? Kasi ang exponent niya is 2 plus 3. Yung 2 raised to 5, final answer na ba yan? Yes, in some other way. Pero para sa akin... Gusto ko na isimplify mo yung 2 raised to 5. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng 2 raised to 5? You are going to multiply 2 5 times itself. 5 times to itself. Hindi po, mali po yung notation nila na 2 raised to 5 ang sagot nila is 10. Sinisigaw pa nila, no? Pinagsisigawan nila na medyo mali ang kanilang sagot. Hindi po, 2 raised to 5 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 5 times. So we have 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 2, 16. Times 2, 32. So ang sagot natin dito is 32. Ayan, i-video ko lang po lang mas mahaba-haba para po maintindihan po ninyo. Okay? 
A few moments later. Next naman po natin is yung number 2. Another one of the lowest of exponent. Okay? Hindi ko nasasabihin kung ano yung term niya kasi may mga ibang book na magkakaiba-iba po ang kanilang mga term. Okay? Yung process niya ang i-discuss ko po sa inyo. Okay, so we have A raised to N quantity raised to M. Ibig sabihin po nito, ipagmumultiply natin. We have copy the base, multiply the exponent. MN. Sir, parang may mali po. A raised to N times M. Bakit po naging A raised to MN? It doesn't matter. Why? Kasi sometimes po ang pag-aarrange po natin is ascending order. Alphabetical order. Sinong mauna? Yung M o yung N? Pwede rin naman. Walang problema kapag ang sagot mo is A raised to M. A raised to N. M. Walang problema doon. Pero i-align natin siya. Okay? Standard natin siya. So we have A raised to M N. Example. Okay? Magbibigay tayo ng example. Sorry, hindi siya A, no? 2 squared quantity cube. 2 raised to 2 quantity cube. So, gawin natin kung ano yung ginawa natin doon sa process niya. So, we have 2, copy natin yung base, multiply the exponent. So, 2 raised to 2 times 3, multiplication yan. Okay, so we have 2 raised to 6. Again, hindi po 12 ang sagot natin. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 6 times to itself. So ang sagot natin is 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 2, 16. Times 2, 32. Times another 2, 64. So, ang sagot po natin dito is 64. Maliwanag po ba? Okay. Later. Next po natin dito is the number 3 or the third law of exponent. Multiplication pa rin po ito, okay? Pero, by this time, meron tayong another base. Ang tawag natin dito is base. AB, quantity raised to N. Napakasimple lang po natin dito. Ang tawag po natin dito is the distributive property. Exponent, iti-distribute po natin. So, we have A raised to N. Sorry, nandito pala yung camera ko. B raised to N. So, napakasimple yung pangatlo. Iti-distribute mo lang po yung exponent niya. Example, no? Mag-example tayo. So, we have 2 x cube Again, I repeat 2x cube Yung 2 represents niya yung A Yung x represents niya yung B Yung 3 represents niya po yung N So, A, B, N A, B raised to N So, we have 2x cube Minsan, pwede rin namang x, y cube Ganito, no? x and y cube Wala pong problema doon. Parehas lang po yun. Kahit nasabihin natin na parehas po silang variable, no? Or constant sa variable, wala pong problema doon. Still, we are going to follow the process of this. Yung third po natin. Okay, next. Distribute the exponent. So, we have 2 cube x cube. Again, I repeat, 2 cube x cube. What would be our answer? Isisimplify pa po natin yan. Kasi meron tayong base and exponent which is 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 cube. Mali po yung 6. Hindi po siya 6 na pag multiply natin yung 2 and 3. No. It should be 2 cube. 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong beses. So we have 2 times 2 4 times another 2 8 x Cube. Sorry, nandito. 8x cube. Kasi 2 cube is 8. x cube, wala tayong magagawa sa kanya. x cube ang gagawin natin. Okay, can you follow? 
Next, hindi ko na puputulin, itutuloy ko na din po itong sa division. Pang-apat, division naman na po tayo. Okay? So, ibigay natin dito. Gamitin natin yung mga nirepresent natin kanina. Same through with this, i-distribute natin ang kanyang exponent. So, we have A raised to N. Hindi yan na yun, A yan na. Sorry na. A raised to N over B raised to N. Uh, ba diba? Ganyan lang po siya kasimple. Pero mamaya, lalagyan ko po ng konting complication or complica complicated na ang ating magiging example later on. Okay? So we have example 2 over x raised to 3. Quantity 3. What will happen with that? Distribute natin yung exponent. Okay? Didistribute natin yung exponent. So we have 2 cube over x cube. The final answer, simplify pa natin to. So we have 2 cube, nasagutan na natin yan kanina, 8 over x cube. And that would be our answer. Okay? Yan po yung ating magiging kasagutan. A, uh, 8 over x cube. One hour later. And with your last ni na po ito, ito na po yung last sa ating laws of exponent. Okay? Same base, magkaiba ang exponent. Okay? Pinarenthesis ko siya, pero okay lang kahit tanggalin po natin yung parenthesis. No? Same base po ng ating numerator and denominator, meron magkaibang exponent. Okay, ulitin ko, magkapareho ang base, parehong A, pero ang exponent po nila is magkaiba. M sa taas, N sa baba. Okay, meron po tayong tatlong pagkakataon. Ang una, ang M, exponent ng nasa taas, is greater than N. Ibig sabihin, mas mataas ang exponent nito kaysa dito. Yung pangalawa naman po, equal ang number ng m sa ka n at ang pangatlo po is m is greater than n ibig sabihin mas maliit yung number or sorry exponent ng m kesa sa exponent na n okay example ito po m is greater than n ibig sabihin mas malaki yung m kesa sa n okay the same base tayo 2 over 2 same base pero eto is 5 eto naman po ay 2 okay sorry na hindi pala nakita ng camera ko kanina same base mas mataas ang exponent ng numerator kesa sa denominator okay anong gagawin natin dito equal to copy the base and subtract the exponent Okay. Yung M isubtract mo yung N. Again, ulitin ko ah, ang exponent ng nasa taas ay mas mataas kaysa sa exponent ng nasa baba. So we have 2 raised to 5 minus 2. Okay? Ito yung exponent sa taas, ito yung exponent sa baba. So where the answer is 2 cube or 2 raised to 3. Which means, na-compute na rin natin yan kanina. Ang sagot natin ay 8. Okay? Yan po yung una. Ang exponent ng taas ay mas mataas kesa nasa denominator. Next, yung pangalawa. The same base, 2 over 2. Okay? Next, exponent niya pareho. Sabihin natin parehong 5. Kasi sabi dito, M is equals to M. N. M equals to N. So, pareho ang exponent niya. Kahit na sinabi dito that they are different in variable, yung exponent, pero pagdating dito, sabi niya, M is equals to N. So, ang ginawa natin dito, pareho po. So, the answer is... Pwede mong gayahin yung kanina, no? 2 raised to 5 minus 5 which means 2 raised to 0 
And what is 2 raised to 0? Everybody, 2 raised to 0 means any exponent, uh, any number variable except 0, which is raised to 0, is equals to 1. Okay, kahit na anong number yan, kapag ang exponent niya ay 0, ang sagot po natin ay 1. Automatic. Number or variable. Exponent niya ay 0, 0 po yan. Wag lang ang 0 raised to 0, ha? Mali po yun. Hindi po yun magiging 1. Okay, in other part of solution, ito rin po. Ngayon, kung gusto mong patunayan yung 1 talaga yun at ayaw mong mag 5 minus 5 dito, ito. 2 raised to 5. Ilan yung 2 raised to 5 natin kanina? We have... 2 raised to 5 is 32 divided by 2 raised to 5 ulit is another 32. 32 divided by 32, ang sagot mo rin po, 1. So kahit na ano ang gagawin mo dyan, it's the same ang magiging kasagutan natin. Okay? And lastly, we do have this. Okay? Lastly po natin, ang M daw natin is less than N. When we talk about m, which is less than n, mas mababa yung numerator kesa sa denominator. So we have 2 raised to 2 over 2 raised to 5. Mas mababa yung numerator mo sa, uh, mas mababa ang exponent mo sa numerator kesa sa denominator. Which means, ano ang gagawin mo? Still, magsosubtract ka. We have 2, 5, minus 2. Pero, naka-denominator yun. Nasa denominator siya. 1 over 5 minus 2. Sorry? 1 over 2 raised to 5 minus 2. Ganon. Sorry, ha? And then, we have 1 over 2 cube. Paano nakuha yung 1 over cube? Uh, 1 over 2 cube. 5 minus 2. Which is 2 cube. Which is equals to 1 over 8. And that is your answer. Again, ulitin ko ah. Kapag greater than ang numerator, exponent ng numerator, guys, is yung denominator, copy the base, subtract the exponent. Kapag naman po, equal ang numerator at denominator, yung exponent nila, automatic, the answer is 1. Again, I repeat, automatic, the answer is 1. Next, if naman po ang exponent ng numerator ay mas mababa kaysa sa denominator, anong gagawin mo? Copy the base, subtract the exponent, pero ilagay mo siya sa denominator. Magiging fraction siya. Okay, and that concludes our five laws of exponent. Ayan, i-video ko lang po siya. Screenshot nyo na lang po para po magkaroon po kayo ng copy. At may mga example sa rin po dyan. Kung hindi nyo naiintindihan, balikan nyo na lang po ulit ang ating buong videos. Ito po yung apat. At ito yung panglima. Screenshot nyo na lang po. Ah. Pasensya nyo na yung board ko kasi medyo hindi masyado. Ano? Uh, malinaw. Okay, and that's it. Again, this is Bonifacio Realos Jr. Ang inyong pink clown na mga teacher nyo online. Share nyo po ito para makapag-subscribe din po ang mga ibang estudyante. Huwag madamot, mag-share po kayo. At the same time, subscribe po. Thank you very much. God bless and keep safe everyone. Ingat-ingat.